long. We're celebrating American Idol with American Idol then and now, where I'm catching you up on some of your favorite performers from the show. And today, we're featuring the runner-up from the show's final season. I'm talking about the supremely talented La Portia Renee. Watch this. La Portia Renee grew up in Macomb, Mississippi, and had always dreamt of being on stage with a mic in her hand. Despite an abusive relationship and being a single mother, she had big dreams and the courage to rise above. With the birth of her new baby girl, Nyali Akia, she gained the confidence to start over. La Portia moved into a shelter and sang to her daughter every night, where she rediscovered her passion for singing. In 2015, accompanied by her daughter, she auditioned for the 15th and final season of American Idol, earning her a golden ticket. <laughs> Plagued by a previously traumatic relationship, La Portia had a breakthrough emotional performance with her rendition of No More Drama. Knowing this was her shot at a better life, she fought round after round on the show, wowing both fans and judges to become the runner-up on April 7, 2016. Following her success on American Idol, La Portia found herself in the spotlight when the song Battles was chosen as the theme song for the U.S. Women's Olympics gymnastics team during the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. Portia made her formal single debut with Good Woman in September 2016 and is continuing to work on her Motown album coming out later this year. La Portia's incredible voice and inspirational presence will continue captivating us all, one song at a time. I am so glad to have you sitting in this chair right now. Oh. I'm absolutely uh, delighted for you and for your career. I can't think of a Thank more deserving you. person. Thank you so much. For absolutely. <laughs> Now, what do you remember about, about the finale? Was it just a big blur, or do you have any memories? Well, a memory that stuck out that I don't think you and J-Lo and Keith were aware of is the teleprompter was not working when me and Trent started. Oh, uh, really? It, it, it takes two. So we were sitting there looking, and we're like, um, looking at each other and looking at the teleprompter and in the nick of time, like when we were out of lyrics that we know, knew because we only knew like the beginning <laughs> of the song, That's the word. it came on and we were like, all right. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, that's, that's what's Boy, you sure, you sure? I think that's one of the reasons you did so well is because you Thank have you. such an incredible <laughs> knack for, for performing. Thank from, you. From the, from the first day you went in yeah. of, to the auditions. I said, this young woman is, is a performer. You know, you have, you have everything you. that it, it takes, you know. Thank now, you. You, you've had a, a tough past. Uh, I did. Domestic violence, and it's been a rough time for you, hasn't it? Yeah, um, recently it's, it's been better, but um, yeah, my, I, I was in a, an abusive relationship before Idol. Um, the police were called after he tried to take my life, and that was April. April 29th, and then I started Idol June right after that. So I didn't even really have time to process everything or, you know, heal or anything. So I'm on the show, and each week I'm just singing, and, you know, I'm like, I'm enjoying this. And I, I kind of suppressed my uh, situation. Thinking back on every performance that you did from the very first one, it's extraordinary that you were able to maintain such focus through that coming straight out of that. Yeah. I mean, that's Thanks. intense, yeah. you know? Maybe that little baby had something to do with it. She did. She is, oh my gosh, she was such a motivation for me. <laughs> that is, <laughs> it was just... that is the most precious child <laughs> I you. have ever seen in my life. Now, you're going on tour this month? Yes, I'm going on tour. I'm Are so you excited? excited? I'm so excited. Going on tour with Fantasia. She was my mentor on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's a lot of rumors floating around out there, and I want you to set the record straight. <laughs> See, we're fancy around here. <laughs> is there anything that you want to clear up? There is. So, there, there was a moment on the show that all of us had our hometown visits. Right. So, I, uh, I went to my hometown. They, they just pulled together and, and did amazing for me. Uh, I didn't know that my hometown had actually kind of been sort of at war with each other um, over the Confederate flag and different issues like that. So 
Uh, <laughs> I was wondering why everyone kept coming up to me and they were like, La Portia, you did it. You brought this town together. Like, everybody came together. You know, it, it was such, and people were crying and stuff. So I had no idea. Then I said, you know, I, I'm really touched that my hometown came together for me, but if you guys can come together for little old me, you should be able to come together over issues like discrimination and racism. And when I, when I said those words, I meant them. <laughs> And, uh, but I started getting death threats in my social media and they had to shut that down for a day and all of that. And uh, my hometown, uh, some of the people were offended. And so um, I just wanted to say to them, anytime I make a statement like that, um, I never include people all in the same, but I'm talking to a specific group of people. Right. They knew who I was talking to. Well, you're a young woman, and, and, and there's a lot to learn in this business. Yes. Uh, and it's, you're so smart and, and so articulate about your mm -hmm. ideas, not only musically, but just the way you right. got that idea across. So La Porsche is going to be back in a little, a little while to, to show us her new song. It's a terrific song. We'll be right back, folks.